Okay, so another repair on the 757 here. My wheels <clears throat> are getting loose and they're, they're, they were bouncing pretty bad. This one here, I got it fixed and it's, uh, it's pretty tight. Although my castle nut's too low to get the cotter pin in there. So I just went and got some uh, machinery bushings to raise that up so I can get the cotter pin on there. But I'll show you um, what I did to get it this tight. I mean, it's not like super, super tight, but you should have seen how loose it was before. I should have done a before video, but that's gonna do it, um, you know, good enough for me. Okay, so here's the other side disassembled. You can see there's a shaft there. A threaded shaft there, that's where the castle nut goes into. That's where the cotter pin goes into. Um, there are bearings on the top, but on the bottom, it looks like all there is is this bushing. Now, you can probably get this at the John Deere dealer, but they're like 40 minutes away. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, fix this for now. Uh, you can see... I don't know if them grooves are supposed to be in this or this is worn so bad it's, it's grooved itself. But uh, I'm going to put some uh, machinery bushings down here and that's going to get me by until I can get to the, the, the dealer and maybe see what they have for a, a new bushing right down here. I don't know why they don't have uh, bearings top and bottom. This thing would last forever but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get her tight here. So I can uh, use it until I get to the John Deere dealer. Okay, so here's the parts cleaned up. Castle nut, cotter pin, and the bearing. You see it's just a, like a regular small bearing here. Gonna grease that up really well and uh, we'll reinstall that. Okay, so here's the machinery bushings I'm going to use. To go underneath the castle nut here to make that go up higher so the cotter pin can actually lock the castle nut. And these are just machinery bushings, a one inch diameter, I believe the inside is. So I'm just going to get them in there, get the cotter pin on. I'll button this side up and I'll show you the what I'm doing on the other side there. Okay, so here's the machinery bushings I'm using for uh, down here. These are uh, inch, inch, inch and a quarter by 14. I'm not sure what that exactly means, but uh, they fit snug like that. So they should uh, get me what I need right now. Like I said, later on, I'll ask the John Deere dealer about that deal there. Maybe I can get a new bushing for that. But I'm going to get this one back together. Okay, so I just snug that nut down. There's no torque or nothing. Um, it's not super tight, but it's a lot better than it was before. So I'm gonna get my dust cap on there so we keep dirt out of there. And I'm gonna call this job good. Okay, so the mower seems to be working great so far with all the repairs. And uh, it's cutting really good with the new blades. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, on these front spindles, my repair is working uh, really good using the machine uh, bushings there and uh, or shims or whatever they call them. Uh, but I, have, I haven't got my manu manual yet, but there may be bearings top and bottom on this. Um, there might be a seal down below there uh, I didn't want to, I didn't see one when I had it apart, but I didn't, I guess it didn't look that good. But uh, maybe this winter I'll, I'll get the bearings and get a new seal there. But uh, for now, my repair is working just fine. So um, I'm real happy with it. The wheels don't move hardly at all. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.